Welcome back to Body Politic PT Exercises. What time is it? It's time for today's exercise, scapular clocks. Let's begin. First, we must set up our pillows for side lying. Take one pillow and fold it in half for the head. Then, you need a thin pillow for under your side. Now you can lie down. Finally, place a thick pillow between your legs. The shoulder you will be working on will be on top. Now we can start. Step one. Our focus is the scapula and the scapular muscles, so we will be moving only the shoulder. Make sure to keep your elbow and hand relaxed. Now, imagine your shoulder is a clock with 12 o'clock toward your head and six o'clock toward your feet. Three and nine o'clock will be oriented depending on which shoulder you're working on. We will be moving the shoulder toward each hour of the clock, returning to the center each time. We will then focus on the hours that are difficult to do. Step two. Now start moving your shoulder towards 12 o'clock to start. Go in a straight line, making sure the movement is slow, controlled, and going in the right direction. Then return to the center. Step three. Next, move on to one o'clock. Again, making sure you're moving in a straight line in a slow and controlled way. Then return to the center. Continue this process until you go all the way around the clock, stopping at the difficult hours to practice some more. A difficult hour may be one where your movement feels less smooth or accurate so it might be uncontrolled or zigzaggy, or maybe your shoulder moves in the wrong direction, like trying to go for eight o'clock but ending up more at nine o'clock. This is when a partner can be helpful by telling you if you're going in the right direction or not. For any difficult hours you come across, try to practice at least five times. Step four, if you want to be an overachiever, you can now go counterclockwise, practicing each hour again. Once you feel confident going in all directions while lying down, you can then try this exercise in standing as well. The scapular clock exercise is categorized as fundamental plus. This category of exercise builds specifically off of a fundamental exercise. A prerequisite of scapular clock is mastering shoulder ignition. This one continues to build neuromuscular control of your rotator cuff muscles and re-establishes lost connections between your brain and shoulder. We tend to neglect our scapula and tend to focus too much on our distal arm, which is the elbow and hand. Scapular clock helps us to balance our muscle activation towards the upper back and rotator cuff muscles. These muscles provide true stability to the shoulder and can alleviate shoulder, elbow, or even wrist injuries, such as tennis or golfer's elbow, carpal tunnel, and mommy thumb. Thanks for stopping by for a Body Politic PT exercise tutorial. Did you know your shoulder really can move that much? Well, now you know, and you can master those directions as well. Don't forget to consult your personal PT if you have any questions, and we'll see you next time.